Hello all you beautiful people out there, my name is Manuel and welcome to 15 tips and tricks that you should have known in Retail Tycoon 2. Let's hop straight into the video. Tip number one. You can make a completely grey store if you use the color code 159161171 in the store settings. You will not see the difference from the normal wall to the stripes. Tip number two. You can have a flying car if you enter a pickup truck, then opening the shop tab, and immediately after closing the shop tab, clicking E to enter the car. Tip number three. Completely filling your store with decorations and marble floors like here still won't give you a consistent 5 star decoration rating. You need to pay attention to the darker areas and bright them up. Having 5 star decoration doesn't mean putting lots of decorations in one area, but putting some decorations everywhere no matter what kind it is. Tip number 4. The different decorations affect the area more than others. For example, the bigger ones, like the fountain, affect a bigger area than 4 bowls, even though both in total give 40 decoration. Tip number 5. If you play during the beta mode and have a golden statue in your store, you can make it glow up by placing a roof above it, then placing a round light and removing the floors. Tip number 6. You can buy copies of the same vehicle even though they are useless. Hopefully they will come to use in the future. Tip number 7. Your manager does earn your money, however you must be patient with the earnings because he wants to fill all the storage capacity and also have something in extra. Tip number 8. When driving a vehicle into the water, it will start bouncing up and down. This works best on the smaller vehicles and especially the Cybertruck which also starts spinning around. Tip number 9. When jumping off the world, you can adjust the character free to land on top of the mountain where the lighthouse is located. Tip number 10. On the bottom of the staircase in the lighthouse, there are a few lines only stating question marks. All lines in white except for one in yellow. Tip number 11. If you build the parking slots facing each other, you can place them four blocks closer to one another. Tip number 12. Some shelves give a bonus called Appeal. This bonus gives customers a higher chance of buying the items stocked on them. Tip number 13. To figure out why your store has low rated crowdedness, you can click on this menu and see where it glows the most red. The more red an area is, the more space you need to expand around it to make it less crowd. It is usually more crowded around binding areas like doors. Tip number 14. You can click on customers to check how much money they have and what items they want to purchase from your store. Then you can change your stock based on it if you want. Some customers will say just browsing. Then they will buy whatever they can afford and find interesting. Tip number 15. It seems that every customer is programmed to buy specific items. So if you don't own the items one specific customer wants, it will say that it doesn't want anything at all and they will say, I couldn't find everything that I wanted. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more epic fan facts and tips in the future. Gameplay of the game and also a huge upcoming video called How to become a millionaire in under 24 hours in Roblox Retail Tycoon 2. If you know any tips yourself, you can comment them down below and I might include them in a part 2 video. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night further. Peace.